All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hey, oh, it's Katie. Woo -hoo -hoo. Katie, wait, wave hi to the camera, Katie. Hey, Christy, you want to say hi? Come on, give, a, give, give us a wave here, Christy. <laughs> Whatever happened to us when we were little, I don't remember anything. Whatever it was, it thrived on fear. The more we paid attention to it, the worse it got. Okay, I think it's on. Remember the rules? Yes. Say Bloody Mary three times. Okay, I'm gonna turn off lights. Okay, you ready? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. trying to get all the pieces of the puzzle together. It says right here in the statement, I knew it would happen. I had a vision. You knew to warn everyone the bridge was going to collapse. Everybody off the bus! And minutes later, it did. <laughs> I'll tell you what I believe. There's an answer for everything. Authorities are calling the bridge collapse a freak act of nature. It's natural causes. Yeah, more like supernatural. Death doesn't like to be cheated. I've seen this before. A lucky few survive the disaster, and then one by one, death comes for them all. Are you saying we can't stop this? not supposed to be here so let death have somebody else in your place wait a minute we kill someone we get their life when we're done you'll have perfect vision i'll be right back Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Grave Encounters. Psychiatric hospitals like this were seen as sort of a, a dumping ground for embarrassing family members rather than a place that they could go to actually get help. Many of them were severely disturbed. It's truly frightening. I swear to God that I saw someone right at the end of the hall there. And he swears that, that, that something pushed him off the ladder. You guys see this window here? Lock it up real good at night. Come back in the morning. Sometimes this thing's wide open. Tonight, my crew and I, using the most sophisticated in ghost hunting equipment, we're in search of definitive proof of spirits that were unsettled in life and possibly unsettled in the afterlife. Is there someone here with us? What the f was that? 
What if this is something real? Did you get that? Do you see your own man? Yeah. I'm gonna document everything because when we get out of this place, people are gonna want to see this. Matt and Houston are gone. We just need to focus on finding Leo. Ah! Shh, 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 shh. There's something over there! Where are you? Hey. Hey. Who are you? How come you're in here? I just mean that it looks like Clapton's gonna ask out Ioni, which makes about as much sense as that stupid movie Torque. Give me your iPod, salad eater. Life sucks. Forget about genocide, poverty, and political corruption. What could possibly be on my girl mind other than prom? Who gave Riley the permission to have the hots for Clapton? What does the future hold for Clapton Davis? If you're gonna get your limbs ripped off by the school gorilla, find a more worthy charity than Ioni. <laughs> Thank God that's not me. Ioni is an old soul trapped in a very painfully hot cheerleader body. Captain Davis, you are more concept than reality. Your classmate, Taylor Fisher, was murdered in her bedroom this morning. I was just attacked! Sure you were, honey. Are you guys accusing me of something? There's a killer in Grizzly Lake who is affiliated with people at my school. Detention is in the library. It goes from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's right through prom. It can't be any of us. We're not anguished enough. Our generation has had no major struggles. What about 9-11? Afghanistan. Katrina. He's Ledger. What? Too, too soon. This attacker you're describing, Ms. Jones? Sounds just like that horror film. Cinderella. Scream. It's not the end of the world. It's just high school. Taught you how to make a snuff porno, Lady Gaga. What's your favorite scary movie? Here is my Woodsboro Massacre anniversary question. What is your favorite scary movie? What's your favorite scary movie? One generation's tragedy is the next one's a joke. What is your favorite scary movie, man? I'll show you. This week marks the anniversary of the infamous Woodsboro murders. Local celebrity victim, Sydney Prescott, chose to return to her hometown. Welcome home, Sydney. Watch the preview of coming events. What do you want? Who is this? He's trying to do ghost face. I'm standing in the closet. Liar. Dewey! What's going on? It is not public information. It's all over the internet. It is? There's a killer out there patterning his murders after the original movie. It's time for someone new to die. The unexpected is the new cliche, and virgins can die now. Does that mean that I'm not gonna live as long as these two? Clearly. To be the new version, the killer should be filming the murders. Dale! Dale behind you! Go ahead if you have the guts. Not to implicate him. You can't kill Sydney. She's victim royalty. Not true. It's expendable. Point taken. Guaranteed third act main cast bloodbath. 
Fingers crossed on some nudity for a change. Time for your last question. Name the remake of the groundbreaking... Halloween, Texas Chainsaw, Dawn of the Dead, The Hills Have Heights, Amityville Horror, Black Christmas, House of Wax, Pop Night, My Bloody Valentine. It's one of those, right? None of the above. I'll be right back. I know this one. You're not supposed to say that, are you? <laughs> You should have seen the look on your face. Forty-eight hours ago, we found something quite remarkable. What'd they find? There's a structure. In Antarctica. And a specimen. Really? They're touching down. This is Kate Lloyd, Columbia Paleontology. Let me show you why you flew 10,000 miles. We estimate it's been here 100,000 years. Well, I'm going to take a tissue sample. Do you really think that's a good idea? Yes, I do. You, my friends, will all be immortalized as the people who made this discovery. Did you hear that? But it seems everyone is fine. Either someone miraculously healed themselves, or someone is not who they say they are. What was it doing to him? It's imitating his cells. I think this thing copies its prey and then hides inside it. What are you saying? Not all of us are human. Could be any of us. We can't let this thing leave. If it makes it out of here, millions of people could die. Do you know the story of Madeline O'Malley? She was the woman that died here in the hotel. She hung herself after her fiance stood her up on their wedding day. And ever since then, people have reported seeing the ghost of Madeline O'Malley roaming the hallways waiting for her lover. Some say she's even looking to take up a new one. This is our last weekend open, so we've got to find some proof that Madeline O'Malley really exists before this place closes down. I have my microphone so we can make do with EVP investigations. Yes, I'd like a room for the night. Since the hotel is practically empty, we might have a good chance of making some real contact. What was that? Did you hear that? Hang on. You want to communicate with the spirits in this hotel? I can help you do that. What do they want? To live. You mustn't go down into the basement. Under a blanket of blue Just you and I beneath the stars Under a blanket of blue
Hey, Mom. Hey, just checking in. What you up to? Uh... Adam Johnson. Adam? You know Adam's missing, right? Right? Kids aren't coming to school. It happens all the time. I don't know if you're paying attention to roll call, but he's not the only one that's gone. You're nuts. This is my son, Charlie, and his girlfriend. Hi. So Jerry is our new neighbor. Hey. Hey. Now listen to me. We graphed up all the disappearances. That's you right there in the center next to his house. I really hate to be the one to tell you this, but that guy, your neighbor? Jerry. Yeah, he's a vampire. <laughs> that is a terrible vampire name. Okay. Jerry? Watching me. I've been watching you. Your mom, but there's a kind of uh, neglect, gives off a scent. And your girl, she's ripe. It's on you to look out for them because there are a lot of bad people out there, Charlie. What's that? I'm gonna end him or he's gonna end me. That's how it's gonna be. Charlie, he's gonna find me. I'm counting on it. Can you smell that? It's your fear. Did I kill him? Hopefully. I just want you all to know how much it means to us that you're all here. Thanks to mom and dad. Beautiful. Just a perfect day. Dear Heavenly Father, Drinks we thank thee for thy food and help us to do our part with kind words and loving deeds. Amen. Amen. When it gets dark, we go home. Jesus. 
for days. This wasn't a random attack. Believe it. And I landed in the wrong place, though. You get me? <laughs> the wrong place. <laughs> Welcome to London, motherfucker. <laughs> well done, lads. We discovered a species hitherto unknown to science. Believe. Maybe there was a party at the zoo and a monkey fucked a fish. Yo, check it. More. More what? Them things. Lovely fireworks. Mum, it's an alien invasion. Of course it is. I'm killing them. I'm killing them in the street. Let's get two lot blood. Quite sweet, really, aren't they? Oh, that's different. They ain't even the same thing. That looks triple the size blood. We need to get off the streets. Back in a block. What kind of alien would invade some shitty council estate in South London? One that's looking for a fight. <laughs> Is that? I'm shitting myself in it, but at the same time, this is sick. I've got one text left. This is too much madness to explain in one text. You have to call the police. You'd be better off calling the Ghostbusters, love. It's mayhem and he's props. <laughs> oh, who kills us? No one is gonna ever call you mayhem if you keep on acting like such a pussy. We're going to Ron's weed room. That's the safest place in the block. What's Ron's weed room? It's a big room full of weed and it's Ron's. Like Craigslist for people who want to get fucked. I thought Craigslist was Craigslist for people who want to get fucked. Right. We're getting late, boys. She wants all three of us at the same time. It's gonna be like fucking my mom. This is what happens. To parents block porn sites, man. They make socially backwards kids. Bet you boys want to get up to the devil's business, don't you? So get drinking, cause I ain't drinking alone. And I don't let no man in me unless he's got at least two beers in. Yes, ma'am. Guys, is, is, that, uh, is that you, Travis? We are coming, family. Good evening. Good evening, Grandpa. I hate the wickedness in America. Rampant fornication, adultery, abortion, flagrant sexuality. Everywhere. Hey, you, you fucking bitch, let me the fuck out of here! And it's up to the righteous. To curb the spread of his disease. You might take children out now. Uh, gonna get grown up in here. Send the sinner straight to hell. Send the sinner straight to hell. God doesn't love you. Let's fear him. Yes, sir. It's 
it's done here now, but we can be fully mobilized and on site in an hour. Come out with your hands up and you will not be harmed. Repeat, you will not be harmed. I think it's the use of the word repeat that makes this work every time. I never saw a hand of God so clearly in all my poor days. People, they're gonna kill you too. You get down on your knees and pray. You said this was gonna be a simple in and out, sir. Simple just shit itself. Go about fear God. I fear God. You better believe I fear God. How much you think a cross like that costs? You mean the dollars are common sense? Come!